Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio. EB Radio. EB Radio. Your station for empowerment presents Mom Boss Talk Radio, a show that brings real life, real moms, and real experiences to empower mom bosses everywhere to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. Mom Boss Talk Radio begins now. Now. Welcome, mom bosses all over the world. It's another amazing Thursday, and y'all know what that means. That means it's time for another great discussion with the mom bosses. We are super excited that you are joining us for the discussion tonight. This show is three mom bosses bringing real life, real experiences to empower you as a mom boss. And I am one of your hosts. My name is Jerisha Moore Smith, and I am the CEO and owner of Empower on Purpose, EB Radio, and I am a mom of four. I'm Kiana Morgan, CEO and owner of Mental Massage LLC, and mom of three. And I am Anita Hamilton, owner of La Lord Couture, and mom of two. Ladies, I'm so happy we are back together again on Amazing Thursday. We have a lot of catching up to do and a lot of good topics, okay? So this is going to be juicy, y'all, okay? So yes. but first, let me get into it. Now, summer is it's still hot, but school the school year is coming back around, okay? It feels so surreal um, for me. As I stated before, my, my, my kids are homeschooled, so they never really technically stop. <laughs> they, they, they do school all year round. They have their mini breaks. They don't have, like, a lengthy break. Um, but how are you ladies preparing for that? So well, let me just say that. Oh, go ahead, Kiana. You can go jump in and I'll, I'll go after you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, I was just getting ready to say it's um, been interesting, you know, I, not just with school starting back up, but, you know, t- still dealing with this pandemic on, you know, multiple levels. So um, my youngest went back to school last week. She's homeschooled as well. Mm-hmm. So just getting her back into the routine and swing of things, you know, it's hard to tell your kid to go to bed when the sun's still out or, if, you know, it's nighttime <laughs> and it's like, no, it's not, you know, <laughs> like you're lying. Like, no, I'm not lying. It really is 8, 9 o'clock. Like, it's time to wind down, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah. So that's just been the biggest adjustment, you know, just getting her back in that whole routine of, you know, hey, we got to get back to the schedule. It's, it's school's back, and, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jerisha? So it, um, we haven't went back yet. We are going to be going back within the next week. And um, I am, so I'm excited. (laughs) So my kids are homeschooled (laughs) as well. It's one of those things like I'm excited about it um, because the fact that, you know, I am their learning coach. And so that comes with, you know, a lot of responsibility as well. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited, you know, and I know we've talked about on the show with, you know, just, the homeschooling and school and how, um, you know, we have different kind of structure and how things are, especially with the pandemic and everything else. And so um, we have been in this homeschool world. Um, this is going in, this, we're going into our second school year. And it has been an experience. It's been an amazing experience. Um, at the same time, like I say, it, it's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. Now, um, homeschool is nothing like how it was when I was growing up. So it has definitely, you know, advanced. It has gotten to me. I think it's gotten so much better. There's so many more resources out there, and I love that. And so for that, I'm going to say that I love the fact that there are a lot of resources. I love the fact that the program that my kids are in, like it, it literally, it just works. Um, but at the same time, like I said, I kind of, I feel some kind of way because we know that when school, even prior to, let's just be clear, when I tell you I would go into the stores, I want to say it was even June, and they're like 
school stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, they just got out of school. Can we have a summer? <laughs> Can we have a summer? Yeah. And so when I tell you, I mean, it probably was in June. It probably was more like <laughs> July. But, you know, the kids felt it too. They are happy to go back. Um, I'm happy as well. But, again, with that, there's just a lot that comes with it as far as for me, um, as far as, you know, really having more responsibility and things that I have to do and check in and make sure everything's good and all of that. And I think it's like that, too, whether you have kids that's in home school or you have kids that's in, you know, the regular brick and mortar schools. We still yeah. have to, you know, be mom and, um, you know, and our that learning coach, whether you have a homeschool student or you don't, you know, your kids are going to school and, and um, you know, in, in the regular school, traditional school setting. So um, with that comes a lot of responsibility. Um, I'm not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, sorry, I'm not complaining about it. But uh, when you have yeah. so much on your plate, and I know we talk about that often too, um, you know, we have so we so many hats, and it's like even as um, you know, mom bosses, that's another hat that we have to wear. And um, you know, for you, Maya, you shared that your kids are in school, you know, throughout, so they're taking classes throughout the yeah. summer and all of that. And for some, most yeah. of us, though, we get to kind of take that hat off <laughs> for the summer at least yeah. and pick it back up mm-hmm. in August. And so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, okay, it's time. I think it's snuck. I don't know if it's snuck up on y'all, but I'm like, okay, it's already school. <laughs> it's already going back yeah. to school. We start here so, And I, I think I just, even though I'm a planner and organized, I always feel like, okay, are we truly ready? You know, like do we have everything? Yeah, are mm-hmm. we, you know, does the kids have everything? Are the kids ready? You know, so it's like a whole process in preparing for getting ready for school. And like you said, Kiana, you know, going to bed earlier, and and all, there's so much that goes into getting your kids ready for school um, that, you know, I don't feel like we really give ourselves enough credit for all of the things that we have to do in preparing yeah. kids for school. So, mm-hmm. and absolutely. I, and, I, and, I, yeah, and I definitely think on the topic of routine, now, you know, for most people, um, we kind of get into a rhythm of doing things, and when it comes to routines, apparently, okay, now, this is to agree or disagree, okay, apparently there has been quite a few celebrities who do not feel the need to bathe and, and take it as part of their routine. Now, such as like Jake Gyllenhaal, Brad Pitt, Ashton Kutcher, um, and we're only bringing this up because when we saw it, it's like okay, they included their kids, and it's like oh, we don't give, you know, we don't really worry about bathing our children. It'd be like days and days, and it's like okay, we're kind of getting back into the mode of things, you know, the pandemic, you know, germs everywhere. You would think bathing would be a very top top priority considering the state of the world. So <laughs> I do not agree with their, um, <laughs> with, with their choices. And, of course, that is their choice. However, considering, you know, we, you know, people are starting to go back out into the world slowly, um, masks, and some people are vaccinated and things of that nature, you still want to be cautious. You still want mm-hmm. to make sure that you're, you know, hygienic, you know, there's germs everywhere. Um, I think bathing, you know, should be a high priority and it should definitely fall into your routine, um, especially when it comes to your kids. Your kids definitely need baths on a daily basis. It's, it's, now, it's, it's different if it's like one time, it's like, oh, the kid fell asleep, you don't want to wake the kid up or startle them, like, let them sleep. But as soon as them eyes wake up, <laughs> They get in the tub, okay? So I think when it comes to routines, that is a very high priority. Um, And it also kind of falls into um, mental health because if you're taking care of your body, you know, washing it daily, you know, moisturizing, you know, smelling like cocoa butter, coconut oil, like smelling (laughs) delicious, you're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to wind down. You're washing off the grit of the day. You know, even if you're sitting at home in your office working all day, you're sitting here sweating, 
you're sitting there just, you know, mm-hmm. you're, you're absorbing that energy that you probably don't want to absorb in the tub, okay, get in the tub. Now, ladies, do you agree or do you disagree <laughs> on not bathing? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Let me just say this. I think it's funny because so when I first read, um, and I, like you mentioned, it was the article where I think it was Ashton uh, Kutcher, um, yeah. and um, they were talking about how, you know, it's this whole conversation that was sparked about whether or not you should bathe your kids daily. And I even <laughs> think there was a pediatrician that even chimed in and said that kids, you know, only need baths when dirty or at least once a week. And I'm thinking, what? Like, what kids, what? So yeah. for, for me, I, I'm i going to say it's a strong no, and I disagree <laughs> with that whole thing <laughs> because kids are, like, who kids are they talking about? Like, these kids right. are yeah. dirty, okay? They're playing. They're outside. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's because a lot of kids are not playing outdoors now. So, you know, maybe that's the thing, too. But even so, kids are in everything. They're sweaty. They're I mean, and I don't care what yeah. age. Yeah, even when I think yep. about, you know, babies crawling and they're in things, they're crawling mm-hmm. on the floor. They're No, they need to be, they need to, listen, they need to be bathed. <laughs> Daily, okay, daily. So I really think that mm-hmm. this is interesting that someone would even come out and say this, you know, and share that they not, they're not, yeah. you know, their kids are not being bathed every single right. day. Um, yeah, no, I just can't even imagine. <laughs> when I, yeah, I can't even imagine. Um, and certainly, you know, of course they said kids, but it's like, you want to make sure you're starting those habits, those you know, those yes. daily routines at an early age. So if you mm-hmm. what are you teaching your kid? Let's just say, you know, let's just take Jada, okay, my youngest, who is eight years old. Now I think they may have kids younger than that, but that you know, this to say a young kid, um, that between the ages of five and eight years old, what are you teaching them? <laughs> Oh, you can, mm-hmm. you, okay, it's Wednesday or it's Thursday. Um, <laughs> that's the day that you can, you know, get in the, the tub because you're not dirty. What? Like, I mean, yeah. at the mm-hmm. end of the day, that to me sets it in my mind that a lot of times when we think of, you know, dirt, we think of, okay, rolling outside and everything else. But we know how our body, you know, the oils, the, the, um, and this is the natural oil, you know, sweating and everything else yeah. throughout the day, that needs to be washed off. You know, that needs mm-hmm. to be needs mm-hmm. some soap and water to it. You know, so I really feel like for me, I would I don't agree with this at all and I'm just really trying to understand, you know, where this even came from. Like why was this a thing? Why did they even say, you know what, this is our dirty little secret? <laughs> Well, not anymore. (laughs) Right, right. Oh, my goodness. Why are we even having this conversation and talking about, you know, only bathing kids once a week? What? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well, and and this is, and this is my thing. We are in the middle of a pandemic. So, you know, Mm -hmm. even before then, you know, just, the things you both have mentioned, you know, just everyday germs. But, you know, when you yeah. have kids that are not old enough to be vaccinated, if that's something that you yeah. are going to choose to do or not do with your kids, but if they are going physically going back to school and then you're sitting here talking about you don't bathe your kids every day, you know, so not only do I have to worry about, you know, this pandemic and, you know, COVID, but now I got to worry about your kid, you know, and it's germs because you haven't given them a bath, you know, in two to three days or whatever your bathing yeah. schedule is for your child. Like, you know, it, like you said, why are we having this conversation? It, it's just mind blowing. Exactly. I, It really is. And- I, I, I also think that it can be a little harmful because the people who are speaking of not, you know, um, taking showers or not, you know, their kids not taking baths are people who have a lot of money and are able to quarantine yeah. by themselves. So it's like mm-hmm. you're kind of 
you know, putting that out there and people idolize, unfortunately, um, people who have that celebrity status. And it's like, oh, well, if, you know, Jake, you know, Jill Hall doesn't take a shower, then I won't take a shower. No, that's not how it works because we go to the same Myers and you're touching on the same cart. So, okay, they have people that probably deliver their food. <laughs> so it's a completely yeah. – um, different dynamic, and I, I think it's very harmful. I agree. Teaching your children um, great hygiene early and to take care of their bodies is very essential and to include that into their routine. Now, it's different if it's like, okay, a day, uh, like, oh, you know, you're, it's situational. You know what I'm saying? But you should clean yourself. And I'm going to read this real quick because um, this is what Brad – admitted. Um, I got six kids. All you've got to do is just take baby wipes, a couple quick wipes under the pits. I'm getting peed on all day. I don't have time to take a shower. Sir, sir, you're getting Wait. peed on all day. <laughs> Get in the shower, okay? Now, if you... <laughs> Did he say he was yeah, doing that for that... him or for the kids? No, for himself. That was for himself. Um, oh, Ashton no. Kutcher well, and and Mila Kunis was the, is also um, stating that they don't give their kids baths um, every day. It's like when they feel they're dirty. Um, but like you were saying, Jerisha, kids are going to get into stuff inside or outside. They're going to touch on things. They're going to get in, you know, nooks and crannies of your home, and they're just going to be just doing the most, you know, paint all over or maybe, you know, and if they're outside rolling in the dirt or just playing, it's like, and then plus you've got to take into the account the sweating and just, you know, depending on the age, if they're diapers or, you know, things of that nature, it's like, no, 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 no. I cannot. <laughs> oh, this world, okay, and then plus two, there, you know, with the pandemic, like, there's so many versions, it's like, so many versions of this COVID, um, uh, the COVID is like COVID Delta, you know, COVID Alpha, it's like so many remix tapes of COVID, <laughs> and yeah, you're not bathing yourself on a daily basis, it's very scary knowing that individuals just, just don't care about germs, Apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's doing too much. So, I just, I, again, I'm trying to understand why someone would even throw their hand up and say, you know what, I don't take showers every day. <laughs> I, just, I am just, that part for me is just blowing me away why um, we think it's okay, you know, to to even admit to it. That's, <laughs> it's to him admitting I, to it for me. <laughs> that is kind what of, happened? I'm like, who? Yeah, because what happened originally was it started from, like, maybe maybe last year, maybe a year, uh, 2019 possibly, that people start coming out saying that they don't wash their legs in the shower, that they just let the water just trickle down. They don't use rags or they just don't – they only uh, wash the important spots, but they just let the water run down their body. They don't scrub or get whatever. And it kind of trickled down from people just kind of – on social media saying, oh, I, I do that too. And people are like, wait, what? You don't use a rag? Wait, what? You don't use soap? Wait, what? You don't, yeah, you don't do X, Y, Z? I don't know. So this is really um, interesting. If they're not using a rag, I mean, because you have to, okay. So I, I guess my yeah. thing is this, this is really interesting because I think it goes back to maybe either learned behavior from when yeah. they were growing up, you know, like, Daily hygiene was a must in my house <laughs> growing up. Yeah. You had to take baths, had to take showers, and there was a proper way to do that. You know, not just going and mm-hmm. hopping in the shower and letting the water hit you. That's not that's no. not take that is not how you take a shower. How you take no. you know, a bath. That's not how you bathe. No. That's not how you get clean. You need more than just yeah. water running down your legs or a baby wipe yeah. to wipe off whatever they do. Thank you. Now, you know, a baby wipe might be able to catch whatever, you know, wipe your hand, but you that need, that needs to be followed up by a shower or a bath. Yes. Um, and I would almost yeah. just say a shower, um, too. But, yeah, I just think that is so interesting. It's so interesting. It well, is. Well, and one thing I want to throw in there, not to make any excuses, but, you know, 
again, like you said, th- this is something that recently that people start talking about within the last year. And, you know, I, I have the feeling that a lot of people developed these habits Oh, you know, over this last year, being quarantined, not going, not going to work every day, not going to school every day. You know, a lot of unhealthy habits, you know, have definitely been, you know, developed over the past, you know, year or over a year now. I mean, look at how many people, you know, in stories we were hearing about people on Zoom calls with pajama bottoms on, but, you know, a, a yeah. work shirt on, you yeah. know. So I, I just feel like a lot of unhealthy habits, and a lot of laziness and, you know, Come things on. like that or that whole mindset of, oh, well, we're not going any going anywhere anyway. What do we need to take a shower for? That's beside the point, you know, regardless if you yeah, are just still within okay. your house. You know, if it, the adults are leaving and coming back home, you know, you don't know what germs are being passed or vice versa. Your kids may be going to school and coming home. You know, you just never know. And so, I, yeah. I mean, you know – uh, none of us, you know, obviously have those habits or, you know, regardless if we've yeah. been homeschooling, if it's new to us or whatever. But, you know, just keeping kids in that normal routine, they need that, you know, from a mental perspective, you know, as far as mental health and just, you know, cleanliness and hygiene, you know, but just you, yeah. you have to keep some normalcy in their life. You know, it's enough craziness going on, you know, as it is. And then when you start doing things like that and interrupting habits or, you know, doing away with them, you know, for whatever crazy reason in your mind you think it's okay to do so, it's not. <laughs> it's yeah, not. I think, and I, yeah, I, I think that, um, Some people, a lot of people were doing it before the pandemic and a lot of, you know, and it's intentional for them. And then I believe that those who were doing it, it heightened during the pandemic because it's like, oh, well, now I definitely don't have nowhere to go. So I'm definitely not getting in the tub. Um, But I also understand there are exceptions for those who are, you know, um, who have medical issues and they can't do it themselves and they have to, you know, um, lean on someone to help them or someone who is suffering from mental issues or, um, um, you know, mental health issues and they go into a deep depression and it's something that they just cannot get themselves to do. Um, so those are exceptions right. to the, the rule. Um, but if you are in a state of mind and are able-bodied, you should be able to take a uh, a daily, you know, shower, bath, because um, it's also, you know, uh, for your mind, because if you're doing this for yourself, and that's a form of self-care. You know, when you neglect yeah. yourself, um, oh, yeah. if you neglect yourself, you know, um, for a few days, you know, you think your mind is going to be at its highest peak. It's not. It's just not. And this is coming from somebody who has fallen into a deep, deep depression. And the the highlight, the highlight was me getting in a burning hot shower and scrubbing it away. You understand? Like that was my mm-hmm. that was my thing. It's like okay, I feel refreshed. I don't. I still don't feel in that right mind. But for me, that was my, you know, my okay. You have to pull yourself together. And that was something I'm like okay. You know, get my lavenders. You know, get my get my uh, mm-hmm. citrus, get my mint, and kind of like okay. You know, and I know there is like I said before, there are exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, y'all y'all grown, okay. Get, the, <laughs> yeah, get the kids bubble bath, okay. Get some toys, Thank throw it in there. For, you know, mm-hmm. let them know that this is something. It's the wind down. If you don't take a bath on a daily basis, right. how are you winding down? How? How are your kids winding down? (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Look, just as as important as I I feel it is for me to have that me time, I feel the exact same way because you better believe, oh, Dr. Till has a new new bubble bath out with melatonin, (laughs) lavender. Oh, no, you getting in the bath. No, I need another Uh break before you get ready to go to bed, before you actually go to sleep. So, no, go go play in the tub. Let's get washed up, and and, and it's time for bed. (laughs) So, no, you are taking a bath. That's a necessity. (laughs) Right. 
right. Mm-hmm. It's the lavender for me. Say that. It's the lavender, especially for the oh. kids. You know, for the yes. young ones. It's the lavender. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's a, I have to say this because I was thinking about this when you both were, were sharing. To me, someone that is an adult that's saying, you know what, I am now admitting to the fact that I don't take showers. I feel like that was that kid. So that person was that kid that you had to force <laughs> <laughs> to oh, take yeah. the shower. Like, listen, if you don't get in there and take a bath, <laughs> take a shower, that's what I feel like. I feel like that kid turns into an adult then. And I have mm-hmm. to think about when, you know, I used to hear my mom even, you know, talk about her brothers and, and how, you know, I don't know if, if it's just a male thing sometimes with, you know, okay, you need to go in there and take a shower or whatever it may be, but how – how the habits that we create as kids, that transfers mm-hmm. over to what we do as adults. And so I think yeah. that is so important um, for us just to mention, you know, it's something, even though it may not, you know, we don't think about, at least it's like it's a part of your daily routine, it's, at least in my house, where we have, everyone takes a shower, takes a bath every single day. But um, so yep. it's just like a normal thing. So, but the fact that we're having this conversation and talking about it, and then I think one of the things that was brought up was as far as the pandemic and how people are, you know, uh, making the decision saying, you know what, I'm not having to go anywhere. I'm just, you know, whether mm-hmm. you're working from home, whatever it may be, that's no excuse. That's a sign of laziness. Yep. You need to go in there and take a shower. Because at the end of the day, even if you, I mean, I'm thinking of just stepping outside, and this is probably a whole other conversation, but y'all know when you go outside, if you go for a walk, when you come back in, or if the kids are outside, what's the first thing that you notice when they come back in? They smell like outside. Okay. Yes. They need, <laughs> they need to be oh, okay. Okay, whatever's in the air ha- is now on your skin. That goes back to the oils mm-hmm. and everything else and whatever's in the your atmosphere. Your clothing. It's on your skin and your, yes. So, therefore, you need to get your yeah. in the shower. You need to get in the shower. <laughs> and I love the fact that you mentioned about, you know, just feeling refreshed and how, you know, we don't realize how much something that's probably just simple as getting in the shower really affects us. Um, and the lack yep. of it, we're not doing it. You know, a lot of times, most of us, it's like, okay, once you get out of the bed, then the next thing is, okay, I need to jump in the shower to start our day to, you know, really jump into whatever's going to happen next, whether it's work, whether it's, you know, business, whatever it may be. But we need that. We need that shower to feel refreshed and, and to, mm-hmm. you know, for that peace of mind. I love how you said, you know, it's like, oh, I need to, you know, wash this, all of this stuff off and everything else and really feel refreshed. For me, it's, you know, whether it's a hot shower, it's cold showers sometimes because we don't realize just how much the cold shower really benefits mm-hmm. our bodies. And so we can talk about yeah. that another time. But, um <laughs> Yeah, this is, you know, it's always interesting. I, I love I love the fact of just bringing some of these things to, to um, you know, to our audience so we can talk about it, share, you know, our views on it, our perspective, um, but ultimately, you know, just really be, uh, we always are on the same page, and we hope that everyone else agrees with us yeah. <laughs> on this thing. I would probably say that everyone, especially those mom bosses out there, would say, what are they talking about? No. So before we end tonight, is there anything, any any closing remarks that you both want to share before we uh, close out the show this evening? Um, sure. So I would definitely like to say, you know, if you have any comments, or if you are, you know, if you agree, you disagree, you know, you definitely should follow us on Facebook at Mom Boss Radio. Um, put your comment there. We would love to read it, interact with you, and let's get this topic popping, okay? We're going to definitely be talking about much, much more, okay? So stay tuned for that, okay? I have more, okay? I have more ammo, y'all. <laughs> I have more <laughs> articles. I have more stuff to bring to life, yes, okay? Because this I world is going you. crazy. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, and if y'all have articles that y'all, you know, want to share with us and say, hey, I would love to hear y'all perspective on this, share them in, our, in the Facebook group. We would love to, you know, chime in and talk about them. 
Anything you want to share, Kiana, before we close out? Yes, take a shower. Give your kids showers. You know, we, we got enough enough stuff going on around here. We don't need, you know, uh, any other extra bacteria being passed along in school. You know, these kids can't get vaccines, so don't, you know, hey, let, let, let's, let's try to keep this to a, a minimal, you know. <laughs> yes, we want y'all to live y'all best shower life and make sure y'all keep this living. They best shower life too. We don't care about who that is an influencer, who out there that's a star that's, you know, putting their hand up saying, guess what, I'm not taking showers. I'm not, you know, or not, I shouldn't say not taking showers because I think some of them are, but they're just not taking them, <laughs> taking them on the regular and not bathing, you know, their kids on the regular. Yeah, we don't agree with that. So it is a strong <laughs> note for us. But we definitely have enjoyed this show. We have, we always enjoy being able to come to y'all and bring those real life experience and just share with y'all, you know, to be able to empower each each and every one of you. So we're so glad that you tuned in this evening. Like we say every single week, we are Mom Bosses on a mission to empower moms all over the world. Make sure you tune in on Thursdays, every Thursday evening, okay? Make sure y'all are tuning in Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Envision Broadcasting Radio. And Mom Bosses, remember to be ambitious, highly driven, fierce, fabulous, and fearless. Until next time. Be safe and be blessed. Thank you for joining us on Mom Boss Talk Radio. Follow each of the Mom Bosses on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you love Mom Boss Radio, visit the website at www.envisionedbroadcasting.com. We'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give a review on iTunes. Until next time. 